Hey guys, today I'm going to go through four tips to help you go through less wood during your heating season. So to start out with, tip number one, use dry wood. Everybody knows that. I'm not going to spend any more time on that. Tip number two is you want to burn your wood stove at that 300 to uh, 450 range. So you can see my thermometer up here. I just got this guy rocking. Uh, she's not up to temp yet. You're going to want to burn it at that range because a couple of things happen when you do that. One, you're getting a good secondary burn. That secondary burn is, is burning the smoke that would have gone out your exhaust, which is lost heat. So even though it seems like you're putting hotter fumes out and you're losing more heat by having a hotter stove, you're actually losing more BTUs by running it cooler because you're letting all that unburnt gas out of your chimney. So keep it hot. The other thing that's going to do for you too is, is you're going to find that you'll end up with a lot less embers just piling up in your wood stove. And then when you get all those embers piled up in there, you can't get as hot of a stove then because there's no room to put the wood in and the embers just kind of sit there and percolate at a lower temperature. The other thing that uh, running a hotter stove does for you is it helps prevent creosote buildup in your chimney. Creosote buildup in your chimney will cause it to choke out and, and be less efficient, efficient and put you at a higher risk for starting a chimney fire. And, and so in controlling your wood stoves, what you, you don't want to just set it, walk away and forget it, right? So you get it running at your 400 degrees, come back and check on it, constantly check on it. I've got a camera on mine because I've got in, in the basement and then out here um, in our house, we have a wood stove in the basement and I don't like running up and down the stairs all the time. So I put a camera on it so I can pop open on my phone and look at it. If I see it starting to drop down to that 300 range, I'll run down quick and open my damper a little more and try to maintain a uh, 400 degree uh, temperature on my wood stove. Now the specs for my wood stove calls for putting a thermometer at 18 inches up the chimney and to not exceed 450. So I'm gonna to try to run it at 400. Now on the warmer days, you're thinking, boy, running it that hot, I'm gonna cook out my house. Well, do a smaller fire. On a warmer day when it's only 30 degrees outside, I'll throw three logs in there, maybe four smaller logs in there and do one fire uh, in the morning and then one at night. And that's it, and that's all I need. I don't keep the fire going continually throughout the day at, at a lower temperature. When I was doing that, I was finding that I was going through, you know, 12, 15 pieces of wood in one day. When I switched to doing hotter fires and only doing two a day or one a day even, I was only going through three, four pieces of wood and that was sufficient when I was running it hotter. Tip number three I got for you today is run a fan. If you don't have a built-in fan on your wood stove, get one of these or a couple of these. I might actually get another one. Um, and do two of them on each wood stove just to get the air flowing away. It helps uh, just move the air around and so you're not heating up hot air. It's, it's always better to try to heat up cooler air than trying to heat up hotter air. It takes more energy to get hot air hotter than it takes to get cool air warm. So you wanna always have air moving around. If you have a built-in fan on your wood stove, keep that thing on. One thing I do with my wood stove is I put a thermostat on my fan with a probe so that it automatically will turn on when the temperature gets to a certain point and usually kicks on when my, my flu is, a, is at about 200 degrees. So that just helps get the air moving around and, and heats up the air more efficiently. The fourth and final tip that I have for you today is keep your fire bed clean. Don't leave it fill up with ashes. If you have three inches of ash in there, you're going to reduce your efficiency. Ash is an excellent insulator. Back in the day when, when uh, indigenous tribes had to move from one location to another, they would take a basket, fill it with ash, and then they'd put a few hot embers in there and then fill the rest of it with ash. And they would keep those embers hot for, you know, six to 12 hours or even longer Till they got to the next point and then they would light their their fire with the embers that were buried inside the ash so i say that to say that if you have all this ash in here you're insulating your your wood stove and your uh, ash is also going to reduce your capacity and and how much wood that you can actually put in your wood stove so those are the tips on going through less wood 
as far as making the house more comfortable, uh, two, I got two additional freebies I'm going to throw in here for you. One, uh, if you have a wood stove in your house, it's going to dry out your air more. It's going to bring your humidity level down. But when the humidity level is lower, it takes a higher temperature for it to feel more comfortable. And it's a lot more uh, finicky for you to feel comfortable. So if you keep your humidity level in your house between 40 and 50 percent, you're going to find that the air is going to be a lot more comfortable at a lower temperature. So that's that's a great tip for you. If you don't have a, a humidifier for your house, I would recommend getting one or getting something that you can uh, get the humidity with a kettle or something on top of your wood stove. The other tip I have for you today is if you're trying to heat multiple levels with your wood stove, on your upper level, take a fan and put it across the room from your stairs, point it at your stairs, just a, a, a small fan on low. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna push the cooler air across the floor and down your stairs, which is gonna force the hotter air to come up. Heat naturally wants to rise, and it's always easier to move cold air than it is to move hot air. If you put a fan at the bottom of your stairs, blowing hot air up, you're gonna find that it's gonna have better results if you put a fan at the top of your steps, blowing down the stairs. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to that channel. I like to post a video every few days, different tricks and tips that I have around my homestead that I like to use and uh, a lot with the wood stove as well. So be sure and hit that subscribe button and look forward to seeing the next video. Thank you.